All right, I'm going to start this the France one off differently because I said I was going to look at the top tier um, artillery unit for French, which is a, currently a tier 8 on the Bat Chatillion 155. Um, thing I notice is that there are two um, diff, two gold rounds and one normal round, so that's a bit odd to me, to say the least. And one of them doesn't make any sense whatsoever for being a gold round because the penetration and damage are exactly the same as um, the normal one so I have no idea what's going on here um, let me think I don't, there's like no explosive range is greater that's why so it has more um, shock damage and this is a heat round so technically it's for a direct fire if you want to do that <laughs> Not a good idea ever. Um, few ones can specialize in it, the Hamal, the T-57, and a few other ones. But, you know, um, let's see here. Expensive rounds. No, it's not that bad. A thousand credits per round isn't that bad. Um, I could not fit on a, a gun rammer on this one. So I had to instead mount an enhanced gun lane, drive a camouflage net, and improve ventilation. Should be able to help me a little bit, at least with this artillery unit. So that's it. And I don't think there's anything strong coffee. No, I don't really want, want strong coffee. Okay. This shouldn't take that long, theoretically, of course. The thing I've noticed so far with being in battle with these things is that they have very good damage potential um, reload seems to be fast either that or they got like a two round clip that I'm not seeing um, they seem to be fairly fast armor is well it's a tur it's an artillery mount stationed on a, the, the the chatillion um, chassis the battalion chatillion I can't I don't understand French so yeah um, okay, I am going to go in the far corner. I have no idea how long this initial reload is going to take me, but it looks like I have a four-round magazine, and um, the camouflage net is actually something I have to set up, or either that or it tells me when it is active. You can see it down there. I've never used the camouflage net before, so... Time to roll out. What counts as stationary, though? I do have a 360-degree turret, so that'll help. I do have everything tops, so that helps as well. Looks like everyone got the same idea as me, so I'm going to be over here by myself. Alone. Away from these people. Turret rotation speed, not that great. Ben... 30 seconds since the match started, and I'm only about a third of the way through, so it should take me about a minute and a half to reload, I'm guessing. But this thing seems fast, yeah. Enhanced gun laying drive, activate. Okay, got a T-1, D-50-2 this way. Can't see jack shit. Still reloading. One minute into the match. Almost done. This is probably why they don't have an advanced gun rammer on this thing. Let's see if I can hit this guy. No, I cannot. However, I cannot see anyone else at the moment. See, we got a heavy tank moving up here. Advanced gun laying drive. I see another tank coming up. That's gotta hurt. Penetration. Ah, oh, balls. 
little guy. That Chatillion, because of the four-round magazine, definitely seems like everyone wants it. Okay, getting behind cover would be a good idea right now. Oh, wonderful. Can I run over the entire house now, please? Seems like it would be maybe possible. Ah, damn it! Where'd that shell come from? Because it landed right on top of me. So I have no clue where it came from, honestly. Too many freaking artillery pieces. I don't know, like... It could just be the conditions, but I definitely don't see that as being viable as a camouflage option. I just don't. I mean, if he was in the middle of the bushes, yeah. This guy actually get, gets the idea of the deadliest bush fairly well. And this guy hasn't moved an inch. Is he just that slow, or am I missing something here? I definitely prefer Wargaming's option of... No one's defending that flank, people. Okay, let's see if I can get overwatch on one of these. Well, this guy's in a good position, I guess. Oh, dang it, missed. Who is this guy? Bat chat, 25 ton. <sighs> Bat chat! Oh, learn to lead the target! Dead tiger behind you! Object 268 killed this guy. Wonderful. I'm fairly certain I lost money on this. Unless that little bit of damage I did to the enemy. Like, <laughs> this guy knows where he's at. This guy knows where he's at. I love that sound. I still don't like this new selection method because it just seems all over the fucking place. I mean, before it was still all over the freaking place, but honestly, I couldn't tell who I was going to select next. Oh, nice! <laughs> Targets! Two of them. And if they're going to nerf the rotation period of the ELC Amex, then they should have nerfed the rotation period of the, um, whatever I'm driving. The Bat Chat 155, because honestly, it makes sense. Because they did nerf already the um, GW Panther in the in the German line because it did have a full 360 degree turret rotation, and now for some reason it doesn't. Wow, that is blind, incredibly and utterly. Render. Oh, he was dead. That's why it wouldn't render. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, let's see how much I lost. Crap for experience, crap for damage done. At least I'm not the lowest on my team. And I got two hits, and I got about 4,500 damage out of two of those hits. And honestly, I did not do that much damage. I only did about 600 damage. So the, the credit multiplier on this, if you're in a good match, you'll make a good amount of credits. Uh, Would have paid for itself if I just hadn't died for some freaking reason. Honestly, I have no idea how he could have hit me while I was behind that. I mean, the shell landed right on top of me. I should have moved faster. My fault. I know. <sighs> Do I like this thing? Uh, 
it's an alternative, I guess. But the thing is, like, right now, the entire French line just seems so damn flimsy. There's no armor on anything at all, and they expect us to drive these things. Honestly, I don't want to try to go for the bat chat at the moment, because really, it hasn't improved in any way, shape, or form since it was a tier 9. They just moved it up a tier and gave it a bit more health, which, in all honesty, doesn't work that good for this kind of shit. So, the last match in this small series of tier 10s would be the AMX 50B. I've displayed my discomfort at displaying this tank before, but all in all honesty, I have to do to professional courtesy. So, this has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching.